Hi everyone, welcome back to Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we'll be discussing the problem clone graph, which has been previously asked in companies like Google and Microsoft. So let us quickly read the problem statement and see what the problem is asking to understand the problem better. Now, in this particular problem, it says that we are given a connected undirected graph. So we are given a graph that is connected. So connected graph means that it will be having a single component. So all the nodes that are going to be there in this graph, they are going to be connected together. So there will be no multiple components. Now, what does this mean? So basically, if you will see, so suppose a graph uh, like this can be said as a connected graph. Whereas if I will say that I have five nodes and three nodes are connected to each other, whereas the other two are connected differently, then this will be uh, not considered as completely connected. Okay. So we'll be given a completely connected graph or we will be given a graph which will have only one component. Okay. Now after this, the problem says that the nodes are numbered from zero to N minus one and we have to clone this graph. Okay. For every node, we have been given two things. Okay. So if you are at a particular node, suppose that if you are at a particular current node, okay, let's say this is my node. Okay, this is my current node and there are several other nodes that are connected to it. So for every node, there will be a value for it that will be there. Okay, so whenever you want to access for the current node, you want to access its value, then you will do what? You will do current arrow value in C++ and you will do current dot value in Java and Python and other, other languages. And whenever you have to iterate through the list of uh, neighbors, so suppo suppose that this is uh, one, this is two, this is three, these are the neighbors. So there'll be a list basically current neighbor, N-E-I-G-H-B-O-R. When you will do this, right, uh, when you will access current neighbors, so current neighbors will be a list that will be one, two, three. So it will be storing the list of the neighbors here and you can iterate through this list. So this data will be given. Now what you have to do is you have to create a copy of this graph. So basically what you have to do is you have to create a copy means that you have to create a, a copy like this, like whatever values here you have to, you need to have it here. Then you need to have one, then you need to have two and then you need to have three here. Okay. So you have to create an exact copy of the same graph. You have to clone the graph just like you clone a repository or things like that. Just like you copy, you have to copy something uh, like exactly as it is and it should exist differently. Okay. That is what we want to do here. So how can we solve this particular problem? So let us quickly try and understand a bit more, more. Okay. It says that if the user returns the correct copy of the graph, then the system will return one. Otherwise it would be returning false. So you have to return at the end of the day, you have to return the uh, graph, right? You have to return the clone graph. So how can we do this? So first of all, for doing this, one thing is very clear that for cloning this graph, uh, we have to definitely iterate throughout the graph. Okay. And for iterating through this graph, there can be two approaches. Either you can iterate using the DFS or the BFS approach, but I'll be using the DFS approach because I want the video to be short. So I'll be using only one approach that is the DFS approach or the recursive approach. Right now, what should I consider in my mind. So suppose that if I had a node, like let's say this was my current node and it had several other connections to it, right? Suppose if I have cloned this particular node, okay, if once I have copied this particular node, then will I copy it again? Because if, if this is an undirected graph, so from here, let's say I go to this guy, that is three. Now from three, it will show that the neighbor of three is uh, this current node also. So will I copy it again? No. If I have already visited a node or if I have already copied a node or cloned a node, so I'll not clone it again. That is one thing that I need to keep a check on. So for that, I can use a map that if a particular node uh, is already cloned, okay, then I will not clone it again. So what I will do is let's say this is my current uh, node that I am at. Okay. So I will keep a map map of current. Okay. And then with respect to this current node, let's say I will use a red color here. So with respect to this, uh, this particular node, right, this current node, I'll, I'll make a new current node or a new node here. And like, whatever new node I'm making, let's say corresponding to this, I'll make a new node here, right? So let's name it as new node by using a different color. So let's say I will name it as new node here, right? Uh, this current node that is there, I'll make it here, right? Let's say this has the data as six. So I'll have this new node, which will have the data as six and it will be the new node here. And then uh, inside the map, I will update that map of current is equal to new node. Okay. So basically I'll update it with this particular new node here, right? So that next time when I come 
come across this current node again by uh, by traversing the graph so i might come to come across this current node again so i will not clone it again i'll not copy it again because in the map when i will check so it will be already copied it must have been already copied or cloned so i will directly return from there okay that is what we have to consider here right now how can we solve this so basically for this there are couple of things that we require here right first of all what we need to do here is we need to make a recursive function or you can say a dfs function in which will be iterating uh, which in which will be iterating through the graph right so let's say if i will uh, first of all declare a map unordered uh, map you can declare a hash map in java right so which will be storing the nodes okay so with respect to the node i'll uh, store the copy node okay that is what i have said uh, uh, that with respect to the current node i was sto uh, storing the copied new node okay so that i can know that the particular current node has already been copied okay so let's name this as mp and then after that what i will do is i will say that uh, i will call a function let's say a dfs function uh, which will do what for me it, uh, it will uh, consist of the uh, final cloned graph so what i will do is let's say uh, it will return the cloned graph it will return the cloned node okay uh, with respect to this particular node that has been given to us okay so what i will do is i will call a function let's say a dfs function here and inside this i'll pass the initial node that has been given from the graph and i'll also pass the map along with it okay and i'll pass the map by reference because any changes that i'll be making uh, they should be visible also right and then what i will do is at the end of the day when the recursion uh, will be over when the dfs will be over then after that i will return the clone node okay when i'll return this node so basically with the help of this node i'll be able to access the whole of the graph the whole new copied graph i'll be able to access okay now after this what i will do is i'll make a function which will be having a uh, node star uh, let's say whose name will be node star dfs and then inside this what i will do is i'll write node star and then i will uh, write what let's say if i will write uh, original node okay because this will be the original node right so let's say i'll write original here okay uh, then after this i also need to pass the map unordered map okay and uh, it will be having node and node as the key value pair and i'll pass it with ampersand mp so that any changes that i make to it they are visible finally also right and now i once i am at a particular node so i will check if map dot find this original uh node basically this uh, original node or the current node of the graph that was given to us originally if it is not equal to map.end so this means what that if the copy of this particular node is already present okay if i have made the copy already then i will say that uh, no need to make the copy again i have made the copy already and i will just return the copy of that original uh, node by fetching it from the map this is what i will do it's like doing some kind of uh, dp only right now after that otherwise if it is not present then i will say that i will have to make a new node okay and and then i will say that it will be new node and what data it will contain so it will contain original uh, nodes o r i g i n l original nodes value okay whatever original nodes value is there with that value i have to create a new node and after creating this new node what should i do so after creating this new node i can say that i will iterate for all the children or all the neighbors of the original node okay so i'll iterate through its list or its vector or its adjacency list you can say i'll iterate through all the children nodes so node star children is equal uh, children and for that what i will do is original arrow neighbor okay so i'll iterate through the neighbors array here and then i will do what like when i'm iterating through the children one by one right so what i'm going to do here is i like uh, it will return me the nodes only so let's say uh, what i can write here is node star new child okay so uh, with respect to the current child i'll get a new child right so for that i will call the recursive function and i'll pass the child here and i'll also pass the map that is what i need to simply do right and once i get the new child because this uh sorry this will be the dfs function that i will be running because now i need to do the same thing for for my child node or my connection okay so that's why i'm calling a dfs function so once i get that then inside the new node uh okay inside the new nodes uh, neighbor list uh, i need to store this particular node okay so what i will do is new node neighbors dot pushback 
I'll push back the new child. Okay, that is the cloned child that I have made. Okay, and at the end of the day, when this is done for the node, then I'll return this new node because the return type of this function is what? The return type of this function is basically node. So that is what I'm trying to do. Let me check if I have done any spelling mistakes somewhere. I don't think so. Uh, if we would have done it, we will check while compiling it. Okay, so let's try and uh, now compile it quickly and check if it is working fine or not. Okay, it says that original was not declared. O R I G I N A L. All right. Then this also, let's see what happens. It says that O R I, yeah, spelling mistake again. So let's correct it. Now it is giving me a segmentation error. So let's quickly check what is the error that I'm getting right now. So I'll iterate for the original neighbors. Okay, but uh, there is some kind of mistake that I have still made, okay. So let's check that. What I have done is I have called for all the neighbors, right? So firstly, I have declared an unordered map, right? Un o r d e r d d map, okay? That is for node and node and I have declared it as MP. Then I have called the DFS function for the node and the map. Then I'm returning the clone. If map.find original is not equal to map.end. So what I'm doing here is node star DFS, node star original also, that is fine. Then I have the unordered map, node star and node star. And then uh, I have this map declared, okay. If I find this, uh, for this original, if I find that its clone is already present, uh, right, then I will directly return its clone. Otherwise, what I will do is I'll make a new node. Okay, okay. So I'll make a new node. And also one more thing before returning, what I should have done is I have uh, done one piece of mistake here. The mistake here is that uh, for this original, why, I'm, why I was getting uh, that segmentation error? Because it was running infinitely. Because once I have uh, made this new node, so after this, uh, I should store this new node inside the map, right? So uh, map uh, with respect to original uh, node, I should uh, map it to the clone. Okay, so that next time I don't call for that again. That is the mistake that I had made. So yes, now it should work fine on compilation. Let's see. So this is one mistake that I had made. So you can see how you can debug the codes. Okay, still it is giving me the similar error. So maybe what I can do is let's just copy it here and let's put this value here. Okay and check now. Okay, it is working fine now. So basically, uh, after, right after making the new node, I have just updated its copy right here. Okay, now let's try and submit this code and check if it is getting accepted or not. It should get accepted. Right, so you can see that our code is getting accepted and the time complexity would be same as DFS and the space complexity will be order of n. Why? Because if there are n nodes in the, inside the system, so I've made n new nodes as a copy. In case if you understood this explanation clearly, so please make sure to hit the like button, comment down understood or plus one in the chat. Thank you for watching this video and keep coding guys.